Good morning students. This is our first computer class. So let's start with chapter number one, page number six, storage and memory device. First topic is data and information. Children, you all know that a computer cannot work on its own. We need to enter certain set of character and instructions into the computer to make it work. This set of character like alphabet digits or special character that represent facts or figures is known as data. When this data is processed by the processing unit that is CPU, it is known as information. Okay. Since computer is a machine, it does not do anything on its own. It only performs some action when we provide or give instructions to it to do that work. Hence, to give instructions or to the computer for any task or work, we enter some characters or instructions to it, which in general termed referred as input. All these inputted characters to the computer like alphabet, numbers, symbols, etc represent some individual facts which is known as data. When our inputted data is being processed by CPU, it becomes information. Therefore, we can say data is a collection of raw facts and figures and processed data is known as information. In simple terms, we can say that an unprocessed fact is data and processed data is information. Children, you should remember that unprocessed data is meaningless, but when data is organized and converted into meaningful information, it becomes useful. We have to keep two things in our mind, that is, First, unprocessed data is meaningless but still useful. And second, after processing these data, only we get information which is very useful in any aspects. Examples from our day-to-day -day life. Your father brought a cloth piece from market and gave it to the tailor to stitch a shirt or paint out of it. In this example, cloth can be considered as data and short pant can be considered as information. The data in its raw form is not useful until it gets converted into some dress. In this example, a piece, a cloth piece is considered as data. A cloth piece is meaningless to us because we cannot wear a piece of cloth until it get processed or converted into a dress. Example in the context of computers. Your teacher wants to find the highest and the lowest scores of your class. For this, she input marks scored by each student in all the subjects in the computer and gives the required instructions to it. In return, the computer displays the highest and the lowest scores of the class. Here, marks that were fed into the computer represents data. And the results returned by the computer, that is the highest and the lowest rankers, represents information. In this example, a teacher wants to find highest and lowest scorers of the class. So all the marks of students that is all inputted into the computer are data and after processing the output or the result that we get that is the highest or the lowest ranker is information for us. While booking the railway tickets you provide the details like source, station, destination date of journey and the number of persons traveling to the computer.
this data is processed by the computer and you get the railway tickets. In this case, the details like source station, destination, date of journey and number of persons traveling represents data and the tickets which you get represents information. Here, all the details that we enter in computer to book a ticket is data and the ticket we get in turn in return is information. Next topic, data storage unit. Whatever we feed into the computer gets converted into a machine understandable code called machine code. A computer can understand only two states, on represented by 1 and off represented by 0. These two digits 0 and 1 are called binary digits or bits. The data is stored in the computer memory in the form of bits and is measured in bytes. Okay, as a computer is an electronic machine and it only understands the two states of electricity that is on and off. On means working state that means when the current is flowing and off means non-working state means no current flow. In computer, these two states are referred by two digits that is 0 and 1. 0 refers off and 1 refers on state. 0 and 1 are termed as binary digits or bits. This is the only code that computer understands. Hence, this code is also termed as machine code. Hence, what we store in computer, it's all stored in form of bits. That means it's stored in ma machine code and memory is measured in bytes. Let's look at the memory size table. Here, 8 bits is equals to 1 byte. 1024 bits equals to 1 kilobyte. That means 1 KB. 1024 KB is equals to 1 megabyte. That means 1 MB. 1024 megabyte is equals to 1 gigabyte. That means 1 GB. 1024 GB is equals to 1 terabyte. That means 1 TB. 1024 TB is equals to 1 pentabyte that means 1 PB. 1024 PB is equals to 1 hexabyte that means 1 EB. 1024 EB is equals to 1 zettabyte that means 1 ZB. 1024 ZB is equals to 1 yottabyte. That means 1 YB. This is all for now. Next week, we will study about the types of memory. Thank you.